hey, hey, let's talk about time signatures. First off, what do those numbers actually mean? Second off, how do you figure one out? And finally, what about odd times, which I am a huge fan of. So the first thing that we want to do is look at what the top number is. Like if you see four over four, like four, four time. For right now, forget there's even a bottom number. The top number tells you how many beats there are in a bar. So most music we know is, you know, four, four. So you just count one, two, three, four, repeat one two, three, four. We know this. We did an example in our video last night that was in the top number was six and uh, it was six, eight time. But again, forget the bottom number. The top number is six, meaning that there's six beats in a bar. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. Well, once we know how many beats there are in a bar, we can start saying, well, what if it's not something normal, like a 4-4 like a four, four time or like a 6-8 time? And again, just forget the bottom number. Four beats in a bar or six beats in a bar. What if you have something like 7? Well, um, Money by Pink Floyd, the main riff in that is 7 beats in a bar. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, and etc, etc. So we know that's some kind of a 7 for the top number. Uh, Mission Impossible is 5. It's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we've seen some examples of kind of odd times. You sent me a thing uh, which was your guitar part that you were having a kind of a, like a, a thing about, you know, what, what's, what's the time signature? Let me solo what you sent me. And I did kind of grab it from what I thought was the beginning of it and bring it through to where I thought it restarted and I set it up as a loop. So it does loop. Cool riff, by the way. Well, how did I figure out what the time signature was for that? And it is a, it is an odd time. The way that I figured it out was this. Uh, I was listening on the messenger, on the clip, and just while I was hearing the clip uh, in Ableton recording software, I was just using tap tempo. So I'm hearing... Dun, 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 tap, tap, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, now once I did that, I knew a ballpark how many beats per minute that was. And I came up with, uh, you played it free time, uh, it's about 126. It's 126.88 beats per minute, near as I can tell. Um, so once I knew the speed of it, the next thing I did was I just recorded a, a snare drum and uh, native instruments just going crack. Crack, crack. And I recorded that as a bar of 4-4. Four, four. So it was four snare hits that just kind of looped. And so they would, you know, if it went 150 times, it just, but it was on the beat. The next thing I did was I just kind of took your recording and shifted it. Let me zoom you in a little bit better. Okay, so what I did was I, I kind of grabbed... The clip of your guitar here and I shifted it so that it would start right with my snare drum count um, at which point I think I I kind of maybe monkeyed a little bit with the tempo of the drum beat playing to make sure that it kind of finished at the same time and when it started over as a loop it was still on a beat well then I did the thing the thing to figure out what the time signature was the snare hits were just telling me counts. And, if, you know, there was uh, that loop of four, but it kept looping and looping and looping. So however many times it needed to hit before your loop started over again as a loop, I knew that would be the top number of the time signature, and the answer was nine. It ended up being nine beats 
and then a clean restart. Well, then what I did was, once I knew that, I went up here in Ableton and I changed the time signature over to 9-4 time. Now, what that did is it set up every one of these bars to be 9 beats long. So if we have a starting point here, and I have 1st beat, 2nd beat, 3rd beat, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, and ninth beat, and then boom, I can put a bar line there after 9 beats have gone by. So let me add my drums into this and uh, we're going to listen to this bar go by. Okay, now the way that I'm counting that, initially I just had a snare drum hit in there and what I'm really counting when I do this is one and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight, nine, and boom. And that's where the restart point should be. Let me make sure I'm kind of at the right tempo here. Okay, so that's how I knew what the top number would be. Um, when you when you have large numbers, uh, like anything, say, bigger than six, we'll say, most times, though, we wouldn't probably consider that to be a 9-4 time signature. In all probability, it's probably two smaller bars combined, which I did not do in the software. In your case, I am pretty sure it's, it's a bar of 4-4, four, four being added to a bar of 5-4, giving me a total of 9 every time this thing repeats. So if I count it that way, again, this is the, the same clip that you're going to hear here, my preference would probably be, well, what if I counted it as 4-4 um, and then 5-4? So I'd have... So we could we could make a case that this is a nine four time, but in reality we would just see this as uh, two two time signatures four four then five four just alternating between four four and five four th as this riff went. The reason that we do that is uh, with higher numbers you run into a couple problems with how you're going to try to be counting anything higher than a six. The way that it was explained to me is I can say one, two, three, four, five, six, and all of those are a single syllable. One, two, three. It kind of, boom, it has a beat to it. And when you get to seven, seven, two syllables, it gets easy to kind of screw up the count whenever you have to actually count to seven. You have to actually say seven. Um, so if I was going to say count something in, uh, like Pink Floyd money. Um, I might actually prefer to count it as a bar of three and a bar of four. Um, like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That'll always give me a total of seven, but I never actually say the word seven. You don't have to do it that way. But that's why I broke yours up as a bar of four, four, and a bar of 5-4. And it, it kind of makes sense to me. Like the whole beginning of your riff sounds like a total 4-4 four, four riff. Uh, even the second half of it really sounds like it's a 4-4 four, four riff, but it does have an extra beat in it. Okay. So what about, we know what the top number is. It's just how many beats are in the bar. And in your case, it's 9 or 4 plus 5, however you want to count that. But what about the bottom number? The bottom number really is very limited as to what the number can be. Most commonly, you're going to either see it be a 4, or you're going to see it be an 8. And that's not the limitation of it. It can be different, but here's how you know. 4 
it it's it means quarter note. Quarter notes are slow. This is the speed that an audience claps along with something. Everybody clap. That would mean that the bottom number of your time signature is 9 over 4. It's a 9-4 time because the speed that I'm counting is the speed that the audience would be clapping. Quarter note speed. If the bottom number was, say, 8, it means an eighth note, and an eighth note is counted doubly as fast. So instead of like one and two, and every time I say and, I'm actually kind of highlighting where that eighth note would be. So like one and two and. But if I was actually counting beats one like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, there's, I could fit more of them in a bar. So there's some debate like should pink floyd really be counted money should that be counted as seven four bam, 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 bam. okay because it's the speed and you could see an audience kind of clapping along with money at about this speed so we would consider that a quarter note it's something an audience could manage audiences aren't going to be like hey da, 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 da. so audience speed is, means four in the at the bottom of it okay so what about other potential ideas? Uh, what can you put in the bottom of it? Well, we know eights are probably twice as fast as an audience would go. So if the audience is going like one and two and three and four, one, then that's eight. If I'm counting at this speed, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, that would be seven over eight because I'm counting the speed. Sixteenths. One, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. That would be five sixteen, because there was five beats in every bar, and the bottom number is telling us count at the speed of sixteenths. And sixteenths is usually at a speed that I would have difficulty clapping accurately that fast. It kind of takes me two hands to do. Is it possible? Well, like fast guitar riffs, those are sixteenths. And if you get like breakdowns that are faster than that we wouldn't necessarily count any faster than a 16 is it possible yeah you could have like three over 32 and it would it would literally be on bucket to bucket to bucket to bucket to bucket to bucket to bucket because you'd be counting one two three one two three one two three one two three at the speed of 30 second notes but that's just like in theory yeah that could happen but you would never do it top number how many beats there are in a bar bottom number how fast do you choose to count it um could you count with like a two in the bottom half notes you could but humans are not really accurate enough to go one two three with any kind of accuracy that's we prefer to kind of make that at least one Two, and if I'm going to do it at that point, I might as well just call this a quarter note and count at this speed. I want to count at a speed that's comfortable. I don't want to be going, and I don't want to be going, but two, and hoping that, hoping, you know, you know, against all odds that I'm accurate with that bottom number. Um, you could say, well, what's really the difference between three, four, and six, eight? because they take the exact same amount of time. I'm just counting six beats at double the speed that I would have counted three slow beats. There's some flexibility in that. Again, if you're counting too slow, you lose accuracy. If you're counting too fast, it's just a giant pain in the ass. So you try to pick something that you can count comfortably. One, two, three, four, five, six, or one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and really all the same thing. All right. I've rambled on. Hope you enjoy this. I'll upload this on my secret channel and uh, hopefully you get something out of it. Take care, man.